U.S. press reports revealed that the U.S. is looking to ease sanctions against Venezuela and enable Chevron NYSEX to pump oil, according to the Wall Street Journal. The United States, the government of Venezuela, and some Venezuelan opposition figures also reached an agreement that would free hundreds of millions of dollars of Venezuelan state frozen funds in American banks to pay for imports of food, medicine, and equipment for the country's faulty electricity grid and municipal water systems. U.S. officials said the details were still being discussed and warned that the deal could fail as it is contingent on top Maduro aides resuming talks with the opposition in good faith. If the deal goes through and Chevron, along with U.S. oil service companies, is allowed to operate in Venezuela again, only a limited amount of new oil will be put on the global market in the short term. Venezuela was once a major oil producer, pumping more than 3.2 million barrels per day during the 1990s, but the state-run industry has collapsed over the past decade due to a lack of investment corruption and mismanagement. News of a possible U.S. rapprochement with Venezuela emerged as OPEC plus countries led by Saudi Arabia and Russia agreed to cut production in response to lower oil prices, angering the Biden administration. It makes sense for the Biden administration to ease some of the sanctions on Venezuela to allow multiple resources to help us lower energy prices, Mosheri said, estimating that the country could reach 1.5 million barrels per day of production in two years if Chevron and other companies could operate freely.